Today I'm going to talk about the um, integrated interface, or i3, um, which is basically a tool that we thought up because we knew that there was lots of tools that are out there, and more and more tools are available. Um, you know, all of these really, really cool things that we're all very, very excited about, uh, and these are just some of the ones that I've used personally. However, like uh, Peter was saying, we run into the problem that you find a really, really cool paper, um, and it's from 2012, and the code is no longer available on GitHub, and the person doesn't even work at the institute anymore. So um, what we wanted to do was to optimize these, the research pipelines and how we can use the automation tools better and more seamlessly, um, also without having immense programming knowledge, because um, while I identify as a data scientist, a lot of my colleagues uh, are afraid of the word data, and if you try to get them on GitHub, they will cry. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we were fortunate to attend the Evidence Synthesis Hackathon, which was hosted in Canberra in April, where we actually, on the back end, um, dockerized a lot of the commonly used tools and integrated them into a command line interfa interface. Um, so we were linking the individual systematic review automation tools um, that are written in different coding languages. So some are in Python, um, some are in Java, some are in R, um, and basically dockerizing them. Uh, and we also wrote this up to kind of create some sort of technical standards. What's the minimum amount of information that you need to publish when you are talking about an automation tool also so that we can go and take that and put that into, um, a, uh, into, a, into an interface. Uh, and very recently, like uh, just before I got on the plane, uh, my amazing developer has actually been working on the front end. So researchers without any programming experience can take uh, apps or automation tools and drag and drop them into a systematic review uh, research pipeline um, and utilize them. So yeah, that's just uh, some of the things that we're working on and some of the things that I'm interested about. So yeah, and I have not gone over time, so woohoo. <laughs>